Welcome back to Encouraging Things. Today we're going to be making some bone conducting headphones. Not these, obviously. These are Aftershocks, and they retail for about $150, which is way too expensive for what I'm looking for. So instead we're going to see if we can make our own using some bits from the dollar store, Menards, and Goodwill. First thing we're going to start with are these Bluetooth earbuds from the Dollar Tree. Now in order to create our bone conducting headphones, I'm going to need some parts from these old iPhones. For this purpose, I'm going to be using some iPhone 6s that I got from Goodwill. You can use an iPhone 4, but any other iPhone below 6 will not work because it does not use Apple's haptic engine. They were slightly more expensive than I expected them to be, and I bought more of them than I needed in order to consolidate shipping price. But if you have some iPhone 6 Plus lying around, then this won't cost you very much at all. Now in order to open this iPhone, you do need a special screwdriver, which I don't have. So instead I'm just using a very tiny Phillips screwdriver and putting extra pressure on it. I'm not too worried about stripping out the screw, as the phone won't be useful after this anyway. The haptic engine is a linear oscillator, which is just a weight that moves back and forth as electricity oscillates through the system. But those vibrations act very much like a speaker and can vibrate your ear, or in this case, the bones near your ear creating bone conduction. And there's the piece that we need to pull out. a couple of screws and it pops right out. And then I just put the phone back together so I can salvage some parts out of it later if I need. For the Dollar Tree earbuds, I wasn't certain if they'd survive deconstruction, nor did I know how well they were put together. So I started off with just a bit of brute force, and was surprised to find out that they were only clamped together with a little bit of tension and absolutely no glue. This made it a lot easier to take out the parts I needed, and replace them with what I wanted. Because the speaker wires were so short, I didn't want to cut them off. So instead I used my soldering iron to loosen the solder around the speakers and then pull the speakers out separately. Now since haptic engines are linear oscillators, it doesn't take any special kind of wiring in order to make them work. As long as you have a positive and a negative connection, you can just solder the wires in and they'll work perfectly. After everything was soldered into place, I wanted to get the caps back on, but I didn't want to desolder the haptic engines. So I cut out some of the plastic.
the cell phones from Goodwill were a little bit more expensive than I think most people would want to put into this project. So as an alternative, I went out and found these alarms. Now you can get these at the Dollar Tree individually for about a buck twenty-five, but I found these at Menards for about three dollars for the five of them, which gave me at least two to work with. From them I was able to extract the piezoelectric speaker that's in each one of them that makes noise, and it acts very much like a haptic engine once you attach it to a pair of earbuds. So how did they turn out? Well, they both work very well. They work really well as bone conducting and sound very much like the aftershocks. With the piezoelectric having a higher sound that requires less electricity, so you can have a higher volume or lower volume, where the haptic engine has to have a very high volume to work and has a very bass sound, so it sounds very muffled. In order to make them into bone conducting headphones, you do have to press them against your head, which I did buy a headband from the Dollar Tree in order to mount them. But I have not done that yet, as my ultimate goal would be to have them set individually behind each ear as if they were individual headphones or earbuds. But I've not figured out a way to do that yet. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to let me know in the comments. And as always, I encourage you to go out and try new things, even if someone's already done it before. Because you can go out and buy something like an Aftershocks really easy, but you can then go to the Dollar Tree and make your own if you want. So once again, thank you all very much for joining, and I'll see you next time.